All right, hello YouTube. I'm gonna be upgrading the X16 Flow here. It is a fantastic laptop. I think it's the best gaming laptop in the world. Convertibles are definitely the way to go here. And I've been meaning to do an SSD upgrade and a, a RAM upgrade on here for quite a while. Um, I was hesitant at first, but I did read the manual and it doesn't look too hard, but we'll see. <laughs> You know me, uh, we'll see how this goes here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this opened up. Um, I've already tried driver bits. It seems Philips One is just the best for Zeus devices here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this unscrewed first. So what I've noticed, I did read the manual this time. These four screws right here, these four screws are tiny screws. They're not the same as the rest of these screws. So if you get these screws on, um, removed you want to put them in one pile and then these four go in a different pile and they're just, they're just more, more small than the other screws and you'll notice it so there's no way you could get it messed up there but i'm going to go ahead and zoom in and i'm going to start unscrewing this device here so let's go ahead and start with the top left corner and get this unscrewed so yeah this should be normal unscrewing things is pretty Pretty simple here. The hard part is to get it opened up without breaking the clips of the device. And hopefully that does not happen during this, but we'll see. Um, it shouldn't be too hard. I already have an area I think we should get removed off here, but let's get all these screws out. I may speed this up here because who wants to watch unscrewing something here? Now we're going to target the four tiny screws here. Let's start at the bottom left here. So looks like it's at an angle. And we'll get it unscrewed here. And also see, I'll show you what I was talking about being different sizes here really quick. So look how tiny this thing is. It's like that tiny compared to the long ones here. So there's nine of these long ones. And then there's these four of these smaller little dudes here on the front of the laptop here. So I got this one removed off. Let's go ahead and get the other one. All right, so we got all the screws off here. So that is that is amazing here. Here comes the fun part. So the best part I saw to get this, let me zoom out here a bit, to get this removed off or to get the tray or whatever the bottom removed off here. I saw right here where the, sp uh, not the speakers. Yeah, the speakers are right here, but right here in the front, there's like these plastic thing. Let me show you right here. It's like a that and then it's that i was thinking of getting a uh one of the little tools here underneath that with a little pry tool and a, and a blue little i don't even know what you want to call these um to go ahead and see if we can lift it up and i think we may need both at the same time and you'll see what i'm talking about you may need to have one tool push it in to get the other tool in and then lift up to pop the thing out here, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this, the flat end here, into the uh, little plastic thing here. Let me zoom in so you can see what is happening here. So, all right, let's kinda get this in here and then push in. Then I'm gonna try to get this in there. Yeah, you can do, oh yeah, there it is. And then I'm just gonna push up with this. Yeah, you hearing that? That sounds so good. That sounds music to my ears. I'm just gonna go around and just keep lifting up here. Keep lifting up. And, oh no, where are we stopping here? All right, I'm gonna go on the right-hand side, do the same thing. So we're just gonna push this in and get this tool in here. Come on now. Yeah, there it is. And come on now, it's it's happening. Oh, if you're not seeing that, it's happening somehow. There it is. Okay, 
Yeah, progress. Okay, so that side is definitely off. Let's go ahead and get the other side here more off. Okay. All right, so we got, we got progress here. Okay, and all right, I'm hearing some more clips getting on clip there. Okay, going around here. Oh, I should have done that. <laughs> Come on. Kind of lift more up here. All right, and some technical difficulties. Let's see. There it is. So I kind of just started from the very beginning here. I'm sorry, it keeps going out of frame. Let's zoom out and try this again here so you guys can get a good angle. All right. Oh no, no freaking wonder. Oh guys, I left the screw in there. Yeah. Yeah, so definitely want to eyeball to make sure all the screws are out. Yep. Just one screw there, just sitting there. Me trying my hardest to get it removed off, but <laughs> let's try this again. Let's try this again. There, oh my God. And it comes out like butter, like butter. Okay, so yeah, not sure we'll cut that out. You know, we gotta keep the mistakes in so you guys don't make it. All right, and everything seems to be out, but it's kind of stuck on something. Let me see. No, no more screws. Definitely no more screws. So, what is this stuck on? It's like stuck on something. Oh, okay. It's like sticking here. All right, let's try to... Oh, see? <laughs> there it is. All right, folks. It was, uh, I don't know. I may not have gotten all that in, but here we are. Um, let me see if any clips were broken here. Uh, let's see if you guys see, I don't see anything here. So no clips broken there. Yeah, this is probably not good to get on camera, but no, oh, nothing there. Ah, rock solid. All right, so no clips broken during this attempt. I am very happy about that. So we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna do the most important part here, which is the uh, future Blake here, future Blake here. You want to remove the battery first. Remove the battery. I can't believe I did all that with a battery plugged in. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. But <laughs> let's go ahead and remove the, um, the battery here uh, if we can. So actually, let's see if I can just, it should be able to, yeah, like that. You see that? Now, we got to zoom in. We got to zoom in for this here, folks, because this is very important. Um, let me push this back in. So, actually, let me... You guys want to do this. You want to just push it this way, push it this way. And then you can see it moves and then boom. You then want to unplug the cable here. So, I'm going to try to just go ahead and lift up here. Just kind of lift right out. Yeah, there it is. Unplug the battery, folks. All right, back to the normal schedule programming. <laughs> SSD and RAM upgrade. So this has two M.2 uh, M slots. We got one already in here. And it looks like it already has its own kind of uh, heat spreader and little heat sink there. I'm just going to rock it without a heat sink. I did buy a heat sink here, but I'm not going to install it on this SSD. So we're just going to get the SSD in here. It's going to be a Samsung 990 Pro. And I'm just going to go ahead and this is, should be simple. I mean, but you just want to match up the notch with the, the notch here on the slot. And you're just going to kind of push it in. And then once you hear the click, you want to then push down and then screw it. And I'll bet you uh, everybody, oh, what am I doing? Well, you first want to get the screw out um, <laughs> out of the, uh, the the little screw -a thing here, <laughs> and then you want to go ahead and push in uh, by matching that notch like I had showed you previously. And then once you push in, you push down. Then you want to get the little screw. You just screw it out here. 
Um, one second, luckily I have this and we're just gonna go ahead and screw it down while pushing down the SSD. And there it is, it is installed. So here comes the RAM upgrade. So again, I have the G skills here, the DDR5s. They're not gonna run at full speed. They're like 5,600. So they're definitely gonna run lower here um, since the CPU doesn't support it. But this is the most simplest thing in the world, but I've seen people just kind of, let me zoom in, just mess it up. This thing is like more simpler than getting desktop memory in. So let's get these removed off. You see these metal thing, thingamajobs? You just have to kind of like that, just go like that like that, and then it just comes out so smoothly. It's just so beautiful. Watch, watch, watch. Just, and then it just lifts up, and then you just take it out like that. Beautiful, beautiful. And then you do the same thing with this bottom one. And again, you see those left things? You're just that way, that way, like that. And just, oh yeah, it even makes a nice little noise there, and you just lift right out. Oh man, that's so good. These are the same, this is even better to push it in. Oh man, you gotta, ma oh, gotta match the notch with the, um, the notch right here. So let me see if I can uh, do that upside down here. If I can, yeah, that looks good. All right, and then you just, like that, you just, let me, let me try again. You just kinda, and then you push it in. Oh, I had it, there it is. And then you just push down, you just click down. That's all you do. Just Oh man, it makes a beautiful noise. And then you do the same thing here. You match the notch with the notch on right here. And that looks right there. And then you just kind of slide it in at the angle. Oh man, it just goes in. And then you just push down, you just push down. And then boom, just clicks right in. And it's just that simple, guys. And I just upgraded the RAM and the SSD of this unit. So fantastic. Here comes the fun part of putting the enclosure back on. So I'm just gonna zoom out and just kinda first get it all clicked in. So we're gonna put this. All right, future Blake here, <laughs> back at it again. Now we're gonna wanna, before we close it up, plug the battery back in. So you can just like push it in there and then take the little thing and just kinda there it is, yeah, yeah, nice, nice. And then that's it, that's it. That's all the there is to it and it's fully in, good to go. All right, and back to the normal schedule programming here. It's in here and there it is. All right, folks, <laughs> future Blake here, man. I'm just time traveling all day, every day here, but um, yeah, before you put the, you know, once you put the battery back in and, uh, you want to make sure it turns on, right? And it may not turn on because it's got a memory train. It's just gonna look like it's dead and you're probably like, oh man, Blake broke my laptop. No, I didn't break your laptop. It is training the memory. So, um, and also it may just not have enough juice here. So you may need to connect it. But once you have it connected, you want to make sure if you put in the battery, right, you should see... Uh, like two LED, uh, one LED light there with the uh, over the battery symbol, the charging battery symbol that is on great. Next thing you want to do before obviously uh, putting the bottom of this unit back on is you want to go ahead and try to turn it on. So you want to open it up like so. And then you want to go ahead and hold the power button. Now it's the, the unit may look like it's completely dead uh, but you want to hold that power button down and then you'll see it light up white right there, right? And you wait. It's going to be a completely black screen because it's still memory training. It could last like literally three to four minutes while you panic and wish you've never done this uh, before. <laughs> you pray to whatever God you pray to that it actually turns on. So you can see it's not, it's got a, it's lit up, but nothing's, nothing's happening here. So you just gotta, you start to pray, right? You just kinda, and then you just like, you just start cursing yourself. You're just like, man, why did I do that? Why did I upgrade the memory in the RAM? Why, why, why? And you just do that for a couple minutes. Um, and just wait while the unit is powered <laughs> here. So there it is. Yeah. So once you, once you have 
uh, allowed into memory train there or why you, you pray to whatever God that you pray to <laughs> that the unit powers on and that you start to cry that you wish you never did this. Um, it turns on. So yeah, because it memory trained there. So now mine's on. Oh, yes. And then th there's a screen. And then you can you can close it like so and then put the bottom back on here. So we're just gonna disconnect the power and put the bottom back on. So um, what you wanna go ahead and do is you wanna put the bottom back on and then to you wanna clip it on first before you screw it in. So you just wanna get it up like this because future Blake figured this out. You just, he told me, you just wanna, yeah. And then you start hearing the clicks here, if you put it in right, probably you just want to hold it up while you do this here. Yeah, just hold it up because Future Blake also told me that, but I just remembered it. And then you just keep going around and you keep going around till it's all clicked in. Yeah, you hear those clicks still there. Yeah, see, you probably need to do two passes at it. Yeah, all right, everything's great. And then you begin the screwing, which I will go ahead and uh, travel back into the past and just show you that in like 300% speed or something. Uh, but yeah, uh, once everything is screwed in, yeah, that's it. You just uh, enjoy your, your upgrade there. Um, you do want to test for stability because yeah, this there wasn't really a RAM support list that I saw, like I, I, I saw like an SC, SSD, I think, uh, you know, ones that have been tested with this X16 flow, uh, but I didn't see anything from memory. So not all memory kits will work. In fact, you may even go to that, that part I showed you here and try to power on the unit and it may not power on at all because you just don't have supported uh, RAM. Um, or yeah, basically you just don't have support to RAM and it can't memory train, uh, to lower down the speeds to actually turn on. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Um, when it comes to this, uh, this video here, guys, um, if you guys, uh, yeah, <laughs> what I meant to say there is that if you guys like the video, please like if you guys want more, please subscribe. I know you did not get to see the screwing back in here. So very quickly, long screws are right over here. Small screws right over here and just screw it back in there. But you guys have a wonderful day out there. Stay safe. Thank you for watching the video. Bye-bye.